Hey, what is up everyone? Today you will learn how to install Windows 7, Windows 8.1, or Windows 10 on the Macintosh. Now I will be installing the Windows Term Preview to check out how this works. Now before we begin, keep in mind that this tutorial is meant for those that have access to a CD drive on their Macintosh computer. If you don't, you will have to use a USB instead. As you progress throughout the tutorial, I will show you how this is done. So let's get started. The things you'll need for this installation are a bootable Windows ISO file which can be downloaded and installed through your preferred torrent or web download site, a blank CD that is at least 4.7 GB which can be found at Best Buy, a 4 GB or above USB to install Apple drivers, plus an 8 GB or above USB if you are installing without a CD drive. Mavericks or Yosemite as this tutorial is meant for users running the latest software from Apple. Alright, let's begin. Step 1, we will be downloading your Windows 7 or above copy. You can find these on several torrent or download sites. I would recommend torrents and downloading a working ISO image file of Windows. However, I will use a Windows website since it is free for the Windows 10 preview. If installing elsewhere, it is recommended that you download one that is pre-activated. Torrenters usually label this on their ISO. For this tutorial, we will use a pre-activated Windows 7 install file. Go ahead and drop that to your desktop. Step 2 is to open up a disk utility. And after we do that, we're going to go ahead into file and we're going to open up open disk image. Next. Select the ISO file from your desktop that you downloaded earlier and click open. Now your ISO image will be fed into the app. Simply click it, usually the second or third one down and click burn at the top. Now you might have the option to choose between a maximum possible speed and choose that to eight times. Otherwise, just click burn and wait for this and sit tight. Step 3 is to connect your 4GB or above USB and open up Bootcamp Assistant to install Apple drivers. Now as you can see I have my USB open up on the right side and it's completely empty and we're gonna uncheck install Windows 7 or earlier and uh, we're gonna check download support software. Now here is the location to my USB but it won't work because it is not formatted correctly so if you guys need to do that go into disk utility and format it to FAT. And once we're done, just go ahead and click continue and this will start installing them. So again, sit tightly and this will be done soon. Next, step 5 is intended for those who are not installing via CD. This means that you will have to use a USB. By default, your Mac will have an option here to install the ISO image onto a USB using their tool. This option looks quite like this. They will tell you to install connect to USB to install Windows. But the reason I don't have it is because it is not a default option and is unfortunately not exclusive to my Mac. Your MacBook Air, MacBook Pro 2014, or MacBook 2015 will have the option for sure. Step 6 is to install Windows. We'll start off by opening up the Bootcamp Assistant. Keep in mind that your, US that your USB should be inside as well as your disk which is right there. Now we're going to uncheck download support software and we're going to keep install Windows 7 or later checked. And now we're going to choose to partition it. We're going to choose the amount of space that you want. Now for gamers, I would suggest how big your game file is going to be and some extra usage. And for any other creative use or um, educational use, I just stick to the default amount. Go ahead and click install. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn them off my camera now and start recording for my OnePlus One. So I'll see you guys there. As you can see, it is now partitioning the disk. This may take some time and your computer will restart and it will start to begin the actual process. Alright, so once it does restart, um, as you can see, I put this in fast motion. The device will actually just sit on the Windows logo for a little while. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and get back to the next screen. Alright, so back onto the actual install screen. Um, after a good 10 minutes, we'll have this option. Now we want to enable our mouse. Just go ahead and turn it on, obviously, and just click anywhere, and then the mouse will activate. The keyboard, however, however will not work for some reason, but you really don't need it right now. 
go ahead and pick all your choices that you need and go ahead and click next and let's wait for this all right wait all right there we go and now we just have to again click next this is only one file that we are installing this is the 64-bit windows 10 preview edition and yes of course accept it now this part is a bit important we're going to click on the disk drive zero partition for boot camp make sure it says boot camp and go ahead and format it don't be afraid to because there's absolutely nothing on there and that's the only way it will install go ahead and click next after this and we'll come back all right so just approaching the end of this installation the next step is pretty important so just follow along your computer is going to restart right when you see that white screen when it's restarting press the alt key on your keyboard and keep holding it uh, this is gonna boot into your boot menu so you can choose to boot in between Mac or Windows and this helps for when you just want to switch between different operating systems at this point eject your Macintosh sorry not your Macintosh your Windows installed disk or USB either way how you uh, installed this earlier and the reason we're doing this is so that the Mac doesn't try to reinstall Windows again go ahead and just click enter once that is done Windows is now going to continue installing itself as it boots up the devices are now being ready and this will just take a little while I'm just fast forwarding this and the screen will just keep continuing and now we will actually uh, get into the actual menu to set up Windows and go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi or Ethernet now I believe I have a connection but I'll just connect to Wi-Fi for now um, let's go ahead and put this in just give me a second just taking a little while and let's go ahead and use express settings I we probably shouldn't mess around with this too much this is the preview version I've heard this is uh, this probably has a lot of bugs still it's not the official Windows 10 version but it is what it is so it's fun it's fun to try out these new operating systems from Windows and just we'll just wait for this shouldn't take too long alright so now I'll just ask us who owns this I'm obviously using this for personal use and alright let's sign into let's sign into Google not Google Microsoft my bad alright just finishing up some last steps give this computer a username I'll just call this Rohit test and let's go ahead and make a quick password and for password hints, um, let's give me how to type this in real quick. For password hints, let's put RST. There we go. Rohit Saini Tutorials. Go ahead and click next. I believe now it will officially install. Yeah, I've said that a lot of times. There you go. Uh, the resolution is horrible right now. We'll have to install those drivers that I talked about before on the USB. So I'll just again fast forward this and open up Windows 10 and install these drivers. Alright guys, so I stopped the footage there. Um, I had to transfer some to my laptop, but there I cleared up some good space. And I realized that the drivers started to install by themselves, so that's a good, that's a good thing. I didn't have to go into my computer or this PC and actually install them manually. I don't think every version of Windows will do that. Maybe Windows 10 is exclusive to it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, as you can see, it's completely different. It's a really nice, neat operating system. And the resolution is fixed as well. Uh, if you guys want any more videos, I will definitely make a review of Windows 10 on this Mac. Uh, let me know if you guys want any other type of content in the comments down below. Leave a like, and I'll see you on the next one.